Peace, peace, family. Shalom, shalom. Come on in here. Uh, I ain't been live in a while, boy. <laughs> I ain't been on here in a little minute. But look, uh, I'm going to start doing a series. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is putting together a whole catalog for y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all from beginning to end how to heal. So this will be part one. Uh, the whole series is basically called true holistic healing all right so the series is going to be called true holistic healing but i'm gonna break it up in chapters for y'all so the first chapter which is part one is going to be called the root cause to every disease uh it's probably gonna be 27 chapters to this actual video series and uh i believe if we do it this way a lot of us can keep up with each other y'all can keep up with the work there'd be a lot of questions that get answered inside of the videos that way y'all ain't got to track me down and book consultations and stuff like that to talk to me because uh as y'all can see very busy building healing people traveling seminars lectures and uh, we building an amazing team right now but a lot of people be wanting to talk to me and i mean that's that's kind of impossible so uh what i'm doing is I'm doing a whole video series rapping with y'all about anything you need to know about any disease, how to heal them, what to go through mentally, what you're supposed to be eating, what you ain't supposed to be eating, and we're going to get real deep into the anatomy of the body. So today I'm discussing the root cause to every disease. This is part one. All right, uh, y'all climb on up in here. Let me share this. Share this with a couple people. We're going to get started. We're going to get it started. Give me one second, y'all. And I'm going to give y'all some shout outs too. How my family doing though? Shalom, shalom. Come on in. We finna get down. Got a whole lot to share with y'all. A whole lot to share. Hold on. I'm just uh sharing my video with a couple people. And then we're going to get it started. And then uh on the back end, all of this, I take these videos and I put them on my YouTube channel. I give y'all my YouTube channel and everything when I'm done. Uh, so let's see who all up here so far. Candace Penn, Shalom, Shalom, Brianna Perry, Shalom, T Marie, Shalom, Shalom, Queen Rufus. What's up with you, Elder? Shalom, Shalom. Climb on up in here. So basically, what I want to talk about, y'all, is the root cause to all disease. So a lot of people say that mucus. The, the mucosa, the mucosa membrane is the root cause of all disease. I'm telling you right now, it's not. Uh, mucus is a defense to the body, though. Uh, it basically come in and it aids you. It's a lipid. It aids you when it tries to basically cover up acids and acidosis. The root cause to all disease is cellular waste. That's the root cause to all disease, cellular waste, acidosis. So basically, your body is made of 150 trillion cells. Each of these cells have a circulatory system. Each of these cells have a digestive system. Each of these cells have a nervous system. Each of these cells have any system that your whole entire body make up. Each cell, which is 150 trillion of them, if, if you are a so-called black man or black woman, about 70 to 100 trillion if you're of any other race. But each of these cells literally have eyes, ears, they see, they hear, they talk, they move, they, they, they live in community. Some live in the ghetto. If, you, if your body is full of acidosis, some live in, in the rich part. If your body is alkaline in certain states of your body, we're going to get into all of that. But this is the so this is what true sickness is. True sickness is when you eat something, right? Well, your cells actually eat them things. And then when the cells eat those, the cells have a mitochondria or a digestive system. The cells have to go to the bathroom. But when the cells go to the bathroom, this the, the waste from the cells is supposed to go into the lymphatic system. Well, if you sit in your body full of acidosis, it don't go into the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system is backed up. So what it does is it just sits on top of the cells and it putrefies and it rots the cell. This is called cellular apoptosis or cellular mitosis. This is when the cell divides and then it dies. All right. Now you get some cases where the genome code is messed up inside the cell and the cell forget to kill itself. So what it does is start replicating itself and mutating. This is called cancer. All disease is cancer, y'all. Anytime cancer is nothing but a damaged cell. That's all cancer is, is a damaged cell. Now, cancer might be expressing in different ways, so they give it different names, but that's all disease is. Any type of disease is cancer. 
Look it up. Cancer is nothing but a damaged cell. So the first particular thing I want to talk about is this. Whenever you are going through this or you're going through any sickness, sickness, the first thing you must correct is your gut. Your gut. Your gut is your only way of absorbing nutrients, period. Your gut. Inside of your lower intestine, you have something called a small, a small bowel duct. This inside of here have blood capillaries. When you eat anything, anything you eat, I don't care if you eat some cereal, you eat some Chinese rice, you drink a water, uh, you eat some fruits, some vegetables, whatever. You can eat from the worst to the, to the best. What your body is doing, your body have one goal and one function, and that's, and function. that's to create and convert everything into sugar, period. Whether it is galactose, whether it's fructose or whether it's glutose, your, your whole body purpose and function is to turn and convert everything into sugar for you to burn energy. So what's been happening is we're eating all this complex food that is not made for us. All these complex starches, all these proteins, all these meats, things that your body can't break down. So the body have a hard time digesting these things. So we have to go through so many different metabolic processes just to break it down to the natural sugars that it needs. So you, you would eat a, a hamburger this big, but literally your stomach through your small intestinal bowel duct is only going to take literally a, a little bitty pieces of grains of sand out of there and convert these things to sugar. And then the sugar is going to go inside of your bloodstream through the blood capillaries. Then this actually goes throughout the bloodstream attached to iron phosphate and then get distributed to each different parts of the cells of your body for you to have enough energy to get throughout your day. So for one, we're eating way too much. For two, we don't know what we're eating and we're eating the wrong things. All right. We are procreotic cells. Procreotic cells is a simple cell organism, y'all. This means you need to eat simple things, simple sugars, not polysaccharides. Poly mean many, saccharides mean sugars, complex sugars, like uh, 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 bread, bleached white bread, white bread. There's so many different types of complex sugars in there. Your body has to go through at least 36 hours just to break it down and convert it into fructose or glucose or galactose. All this metabolic waste and all this carbon coming from there literally burns an ash and leave a burn on each of your cells. Now your cell got to take a poop and a poop can't go anywhere because your lymphatic system is backed up because you're eating the wrong things. And again, the only way you can absorb any type of phytonutrients is through your lower intestines, through a small little opening through the bowel duct. And then it goes into the blood and the blood distributes the phytonutrients to every cell in your body. So again, sickness is what? What is sickness? Sickness is nothing but a damaged cell due to lack of oxygen. Because when the cells start to putrefy or putreficate, what happens? It sucks all the oxygen out and then it leaves glucose there. Glucose is very gluey. This thing rots on the cell. Now the cell burns and then it dies. All right, now where is this burnt cell supposed to go? This burnt cell is supposed to go inside the lymphatic system. Then it goes into something called a lymph node. Inside of that lymph node, you have good bacteria, by, by different bacteria. Inside of this bacteria, bacteria does what? It eats acids. So if, if it can't even make it to the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system is so backed up, then how are you going to get rid of your metabolic waste? That's all it is. Look, you can check this out right now. If you don't poop for nine months, <laughs> you don't go to the bathroom for nine months, what's going to happen? You're going to back up inside your body. The, the bacteria, the bad bacteria from your feces is going to dump off into your bloodstream. You're going to get a blood infection and you're going to die. Now, you have 150 trillion cells in your body. All of them have to take a poop. They're constipated. They're constipated. Why are they constipated? Because the lack of oxygen, the lack of phytonutrients, because you don't know how to eat. Constipation is the root cause of all diseases because this is what caused cellular damage. Now you got mucus. Mucus is a, a, it's an alkaline. It's a lipid. It's a cholesterol. It's the mucosa. It lines your mouth. It aligns every cell in your body. It's called interstitial cells, interstitial fluid around each cell. This is your protection. So as soon as it finds any type of acid, it rushes there and then it tries to cover it up to basically, it's like a, it's like a fire blanket trying to put out fire. So wherever you have the most acidosis at, guess what's going to happen? Alkalinity, mucus. It's going to run in. It's going to cover it up. 
Well, if you don't ever change your diet or don't ever change your mindset, then what's going to keep happening? It's going to be mucus, 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 mucus. This is called mucinoid plaque buildup. And this, is, this creates something called cellular erosion. Now you're hawking up big loogies everywhere. You see what I'm saying? So again, the root cause to all disease is cellular constipation. Cellular constipation caused by the lack of oxygen and phytonutrients. This is caused by eating the wrong things. All this is because of what we putting in our mouths, family. Period. Period. So a lot of people be like, well, Yaki, Yaki, what's the, the, what's the best cleanse for you? Uh, what's the best cleanse? What's the best package you want me to get? I'm a, I wouldn't even be a real herbalist if I can tell you that it's a certain type of package that everybody needs. Everybody need an entire system cleanse. Some people can't afford them than others, but you need an entire system cleanse. You cannot fully heal your body if you don't correct the digestive system first. Your stomach, your digestive system, starting from your mouth, ending at your colon. This is the most important system on your body because this is how you bring fuel to each of your cells and, and actually convert things into adenosine triphosphate. This is the pure, I'm talking about this is that pure energy that, that, that you wake up in the morning. This is how you go throughout your day. This is how you run. This is how you speak. All of that. Without that, you dead because we need to convert sugar into energy. Remember, everything you eat gets converted into sugar. Everything. There is nothing you put in your mouth that the body don't convert into sugar. And if it don't convert into sugar, it takes the minerals, and the minerals become a polypeptide. It squishes them together, and this become a salt. You need salts and sugar to, to uh, survive out here. You see what I'm saying? You can't get none of these absorptions if your stomach is messed up, though. Because what happens is when you eat something, when you eat something, you have something called alkaline glances. It's a saliva that comes from up under your tongue. You supposed to chew. Look, and it's another thing. We don't know how to chew our food properly. You supposed to chew your food up till it's damn near a liquid, y'all. Then you swallow it. Then while you swallow it, it goes through all these different metabolic changes to break down. You eat a burger, that burger don't look like a burger once it hits your stomach. It looks like liquid. So after it gets to the small intestinal bowel duct, what happens is the blood comes and it picks up everything that it needs. It picks up these little bitty micro, you can't even see them for real. And guess what's in there? Amino acids, right? That's converted into sugar. Guess what's else in there? Minerals that's converted into salts. It takes that, it goes through the liver, and then it goes on its way throughout your body. Now, the thing is, if you don't have good bacteria inside your stomach, then what's going to help you do these absorptions? Huh? Bacteria is what takes these foods and put it inside the blood. So everybody want to be on uh, uh, antibiotics this and probiotics this and that and this and that. No, you need something called bifidum bacteria. This is a natural bacteria that you get from your mother. This is why it's so bad to have C-sections. Because when the baby is coming through the birth canal, this is the reason why the vagina is so close to the anus, because the baby is literally gulping and sucking on them feces, and then this aligns the stomach of the baby. Now the baby have a, a, a stomach full of good bifidum bacteria to help what? With nutrient absorptions, will help with breaking down things, will help getting rid of acidosis and putrefaction. This same bacteria goes into the bloodstream and the mucosa of the baby and lines up the lymphatic system. Now the baby have good bacteria inside the lymph nodes and everything. Why do y'all think the vagina is so close to the anus when the baby come out? Huh? Look, this is scientifically proven. When and with, with babies that get cut out through the stomach, they check the bacteria inside these baby stomachs. Guess what they got? They got stomach bacteria. I'm talking about literally, it's called gut lining bacteria inside of their bellies. But when they check babies that had natural births that came through the vagina canal, that, that, that swooped through right close to that anus, guess what they had? They had good bifidum bacteria. You see what I'm saying? So first thing you have to do is restore gut bacteria. First thing, because you need to absorb. Then once you get your stomach right, and you get an absorption in well, now we got to figure out what's else going on. The first, next thing you hit is the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands is one of the most important glands in your body, and it's overruled and ran by the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is one of the master glands in your body next to your pineal gland. Your pineal gland secretes uh, melanin, melatonin, and serotonin. Serotonin is mainly in your gut lining. Guess what serotonin do? That's what keeps you up. That's what gives you energy. It's named after its name, serious serotonin. Melanin, mellow melatonin. Melanin makes you sleep. So we got we to gotta restore our serotonin. How you do this? By your adrenal glands. 
You got to get good energy. What's, what jump starts your autonomic nerve system? Your adrenal glands. You see that? What sends messages throughout your entire body that communicate with your stomach, your heart, your major organs in your brain, your adrenal glands? What's in charge of 75% of steroids and gland secretion utilization? Your adrenal glands. So now you got to turn things on in the body, the body, okay? I'm restoring my gut. I'm getting my gut right because now I need to absorb these good phytonutrients, foods that I'm eating to feed my body, to have my body healthy. Now, once my blood absorbs this because I didn't restore my guts, now what's happening? I need my glands to turn on. First thing you go out there is the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands is these pyramid-shaped things that sit on top of both of your kidneys. Without these, you won't get no salts, you won't get no minerals, and you will not be getting elect no electricity to your brain and throughout your nervous system and your spinal column because that's what the adrenal glands do. That's why so many people are fatigued. So many people that be uh, inside of their detoxification, be falling asleep. They, they, they can't get, they lack energy. They can't barely even lift their head up because your adrenals are down. And your adrenals is what sits on top of the kidneys and then are your pumps to your filtering system. You see that? So the first thing is to restore the gut. First thing. The second thing is to get them adrenal glances up and running. All right, let's move on to the third thing. The third thing is you must start cleansing out the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is the only way you can heal from any dis-ease, point blank period. You have two liquid systems inside your body. You have the circulatory system that we call the blood system. Then you have the lymphatic system. Your blood only make up 25% of your body. The other 75% of fluids that make up your body is nothing but lymphatic fluid. This actually wraps around your blood system like six times. So anytime something bad dumps off into your blood, an infection or anything, the blood can, o the blood can only maintain a 7.4 pH balance. If it drop low or high, you die within minutes. So the first thing it does is it dumps everything off into the lymphatic system. As soon as the lymphatic system take it on, down now the lymphatic system on this little slow moving train, it takes it inside the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes is, is your septic tank. Soon as that, soon as all of these dead cells, soon as all of these uh, proteins, soon as all of these uh, uh, bad bacteriums get inside of the lymph node, guess what happens? Now you see acids getting ate up by the good bacteria. All right. Now once they get ate up, sometimes they get utilized if they can be converted by the uh, by the by the liver. Sometimes they get pushed out. Well, the only way you can cleanse out your lymphatic system is two ways: sweating through your skin or Peeing. All right. Now your skin and your urine all is connected to what? Your kidneys. That's your third thing. So first we got the gut. Restore your gut. Second, we got the adrenal glands. Get the adrenal glands up and running. Let's get that nervous system moving. Okay. Third thing, we got what? The lymphatic system. Start cleansing that out. Then the fourth thing we got is opening up them kidneys. Because if them kidneys don't open up, I done seen people die. I done seen people get all the way backed out, go into comas and all types of things because their body is building up and cleansing all these toxins. These toxins get inside the lymphatic system. Now the lymphatic system don't got nowhere to go because you're not sweating or your kidneys are not filtering. Once you get them kidneys filtering, you can get rid of every single disease. Every single disease. Every single disease. Now, all of this is because each of the cells in your body have a digestive system and you're feeding and constantly feeding them. But when they poop, they poop don't can't go in a toilet like yours because your toilet or your sewage system is backed up, which is called the lymphatic system. You see that? Do y'all see that? Hold on, let me. I'm just talking. Let me see if y'all got any questions. I'm just talking. It says, How do you clean the liver and kidneys? We're going to get to all that. We're going to get to all that, family. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. And if y'all got any questions to what I just said before we keep going, then y'all can start asking questions on that. All the other questions that ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now, don't even ask them because I'm not going to answer them. All right? So if y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. And then ask questions according to that. Because, again, I'm making a catalog, y'all. So I don't really want to get off topic here. This is just part one. It's going to be like 27 of these, and we're going to put them all on DVDs, and I'm going to ship them off and stuff for free. You'll be able to download them 
for my website or something like that. All right, now, any questions do y'all have so far before we keep going? All right, y'all get it? And another thing, y'all, I really don't check my inbox. It's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in my inbox. The best way to get in contact with me is by going on my website, www.yakiawaken.com and booking a consultation. That's the best way. Other than that, man, I don't think y'all understand how busy I am. I'm a firm believer that the body is made to heal. Yes, the body heal itself. What's happening is there's too many obstructions inside of our body that's keeping our body from healing itself. How do you restore the good bacteria in your gut? Thank you. Somebody's asking some good questions. All right. So the best way to restore good uh, probiotics, or what we call bi bifidum bacteria inside your gut, I have something, man, look, black walnut hog, black walnut hog, one of the most, man, strongest probiotic herbs that are very good for you. And go on my website and download the fruit chart. You see, every now and then, sip on a, a, just a tad bit of little red wine, uh, uh, certain types of ferment food. You see what I'm saying? Kombucha, uh, uh, aged uh, cabbage. It's so much, it's so many ways you can get bi bifidum bacteria back in your gut. And then it's another thing through yttrium. Yttrium is a mineral that automatically carry it. Or I sell something called Yaki Three Bitters. Uh, it's, it's basically based off the concept of Dr. Sebi's Three Bitters. Mine's is uh, way different, though, but it's based off his same concept. And my bitter two, hand me some of them bitters so I can read the back of them. My bitter two and bitter three is full of that, full of bidifinal bacteria, natural, that'll realign your gut that'll realign your gut, get all that good bacteria in there. It's in, you will never, I'm mean, look, check, hear me when I say this, y'all. It's impossible to have phytonutrients absorption without bacteria in your gut. Uh, who's going to transfer? Who's going to take the good back? Look, who's going to take all the phytonutrients and give it to your blood? Who's going to do that? Oh, the bacteria. You see what I'm saying? That's the only way you can get nutrients inside the bloodstream, inside of the small valve duct that's connected to what? The small intestines. These are my three bitters right here. I didn't want to advertise today, but since y'all gonna ask, hey, it is what it is. You see that? So this is bitter one. My bitter one cleanses the lymphatic system in the skin. You see that? My bitter two cleanses the blood and all the organs. My bitter three cleanses the nervous system in the colon. Now, check this out. This is on the back of my Bitter 3. I'm going to read it to y'all. It says, Bitter 3 is a powerful herbal compound formula created in ratio to address the nervous system in the colon. It says, its astringent properties pull toxins, parasites, mucus, bad bacterium, fungi, and yeast from the nervous system and colon. Its oxygenation properties aid the cells with iron phosphate, sulfate, and fluorine which brings oxygen to each cell, providing a longer lifespan and a healthy cell and healthy cellular potential. Its rebuilding properties from the amino acids and essential vital minerals assist with each cells and the rebirthing and reformation process as the RNA and the ribosome gives creation to each cell. So this is talking about cellular regeneration. This is just in my three bitters, y'all. We're not even talking about the packages. This is what the three bitters do. Now check this out. It says. Bitter three is very high in bifidum bacterium, which restores the gut and increases the cells and phytonutrients absorption in the gut and bloodstream to feed the cells. Without bacteria, good bacteria, the body will be in a continuous state of disease. Remember, the nervous system moves the cells, the bloodstream feeds the cells, and the lymphatic system cleanses the cells while the colon assists. You see that? And then all herbs are organic, are organic alkaline botanicals and are naturally uh, wildcrafted from the land of their original origins. So, like, you need that. You see that? And with my three bitters, I'm literally hitting every piece of your body, every piece of your body. A lot of people, uh, if you on here and you done took my bitters before, type in some knives and tell them how disgusting they are. A lot of people can't even, a lot of people ain't man enough to even take the bitters. But look, if you can take the bitters on a consistent basis, that'll rebuild and, and, and literally regenerate your cells on a biological level, y'all, because I'm restoring the gut. You see that? I'm going through and I'm aiding the adrenal glands. I'm getting the electricity back kicking in the nervous system and the autonomic nervous system back up and running. 
You see that? It's moving and putting everything into the lymphatic system, and it's opening up the kidneys and the skin to get you to filter. You see what I mean? So just by the three bitters alone, the three bitters alone will, will heal you more than a lot of people doing out here because I know what I'm doing. I know, I know how to mix the herbs. I know how the body works. I know how the body works. I do. It's all about cellular regeneration. How do you die? You die because the cells what? Stop getting electricity. Whether it be by blood stopping, by, by the uh, automatic uh, nervous system stopping due to what? Cellular putrefaction due to the lack of oxygen. The lack of oxygen. It's all about congestion. It's all about constipation, period. Period. So if you got 150 trillion cells and all of them got to take a boo-boo, and you know that bacteria and, and feces is a deadly infection, and it's just sitting on your cellular wall, and you ain't you don't know how to get rid of it. Your whole thing should be okay. How if my cells got to take a dump, then how do I get the dump in the toilet, or what the, the toilet is lymphatic system, and how do I get it out of my body? Nobody's doing it. Everybody's cleansing the body and not cleansing the lymphatic system, and that's why herbalist is not healing nobody. Don't, ain't nobody talking about the lymphatic system. Nobody's talking about the kidney filtration. Nobody's talking about the adrenal glands. Nobody is talking about the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is what runs the woman, and the pineal gland runs us. The pituitary gland regulates your, your ministry. Any woman that have any type of irregular ministration with, when it comes to her period, she have a pituitary issue. Huh? This is where all your growth hormones come in at. This turns on your adrenal glances, then it's connect to your thyroids and your parathyroids. And once them go down, that's the gear shift to your body. That's what puts you in drive, stop, reverse, all of that. You see what I'm saying? So you have to look. This is what I'm saying. You just we we be making this stuff too hard, y'all. I'm sick because my cells are constipated. All right. Now, if your toilet get backed up, the first thing you're going to do is call a plumber because you know you don't want no ish on your floor. It's nasty. You, you don't want to get in there, clean it up. You, you will put on all types of gloves and rubber ducky shoes, have all types of bleach just to get in there to clean up all of that off your floor. Imagine 150 trillion millions of micro use taking a dump inside your body. What are you doing with all that toxic waste? It must be cleaned out, family must be cleaned out. And I just so happen to be a certified plumber. <laughs> Literally. I drink them. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Look, them, them three bitters, boy. It take a man to drink. It take, it take a man and a very strong-willed woman to get these down. I even had problems with three. Three? Woo! It's, hey, this three ain't no joke. That three ain't no joke. But look, it really does... It really does estrange, which means it pulls, then it oxygenate, which means it gives the cells oxygen, then it rebuilds through the amino acids. I got it, I got it ratio down to a scientific fact, y'all. Like this really will give you cellular regeneration. It really will. Yeah, Rufus said he done been on them bitters. Brianna done been on them bitters. <laughs> Let's see. How long does all that take? Uh so if on healing, it depends on how long your body been sick. Uh, like a lot of people be sick for for since they've been born because they mama. A lot of times your mama can pass you down diseases through her DNA and through her blood. Uh, and that's why you see new cases of like like I do a lot of study and research, and there's so many people with weak kidneys and weak adrenal glances just from their forefathers. So uh, to re cellular regeneration take three to nine months, but just getting rid of a disease. I mean, one month to three months. Uh, if you got a very weak immune response, give it three to six months. It all depends. And it depends on how strong willed and how strong your mind is, too. Because I don't heal the body. The, the body heals itself by way of the mind. I just cleanse the body from all the toxins for the body can regenerate itself. That's all herbs do. Herbs, when it's, when the scripture tell you herbs are filled the healing of the nation, it was telling you herbs cleanse the body for the body can heal itself. You are a God. You was created in his image. You have a mechanism inside of you that will cleanse yourself as long as the body is cleansed of all the obstructions, y'all. That's it. How do you consume them? So uh, this basically, I'm going to read the directions to you, this bitter one again. It says product instructions. It says uh, store in a refrigerator, take a cup of bitters, add to 16 ounces of spring water or what else? Somebody else tell me. I've been talking about this water a whole lot lately. 
If it ain't spring water, it's what? Distilled water, okay? It says store in the refrigerator, take one cup of bitters and add to 16 ounces of spring water or distilled water. Each bitter must be prepared separately. Bring it to a boil, then simmer on your lowest setting for 25 minutes. Strain and let cool. Drink all three eight-ounce glasses of bitters back to back. After an evening meal, herbs can be used up to three. They so potent, you can use them up to three times before you throw them out. And don't throw them in the trash. Put them in the grass, y'all. Recycling. It says keep you. It says keep used herbs in a re, uh, refrigerated in a glass jar. Dispose after the uses. So that's how you do them. You literally make them like a tea, but you bring the pot to a boil and then you you let it you let it simmer for twenty five minutes before you can get all of that phytonutrients up out of them. All of it. You see that? <laughs> Raina Lewis said it tastes like DD WD forty. Hey, that's one of the most strongest women I know, y'all. For real, Raina Lewis. She been going hard. She been cleansing. I'm talking about she. That's a real trooper right there. Real trooper. That's a very real trooper right there. We done seen tumors come up out of her hundreds of times. So that's a trooper right there. Y'all make sure y'all shout out uh Raina Lewis, man. I love that woman. She's very strong and she is she working on herself and cleansing herself. We done seen so much stuff come from her system, man. And she faithfully be on these. You know what I'm saying? It took her a while, hit her down and out for a minute, but she take these like it's no other. <laughs> All praises. All right, let's see. What else we got? Let me see. Okay, I answered that question. Yep, herb, yeah, doctors are trained to push drugs. My bad, y'all. So, so many of y'all commented at one time. Let me slow down. Should I follow this regimen if you have a cold? Yes. I mean, what is a cold? A cold is nothing but inflammation in, in your nasal passage, in your bronchial tubes. In your sinus package, is inflammation. Inflammation is not a sickness. Inflammation is actually a, a controlled defense mechanism to sickness. It swells to isolate. Then mucus come in to cover. Then fever come in to burn it out. They, they, they want you to get rid of these mechanisms. And when you look, notice how many suppressants they give you. Oh, you got a fever? Let's bring the fever down. No, let the fever burn whatever bad in the mouth. Oh, it's inflammation. Let's give them anti-inflammatories. Hold on, it's isolating the problem. You see that? You see what I'm saying? So, oh, mucus coming in. Let's give them mucus X. No, the mucus is coming and covering up. That's a big lipid. It's a big old lipid. A lipid is literally a slow moving fluid that's very alkaline that's going to cover it up. And look, and a lot of people that be on this alkaline, 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 do you know you cannot survive being fully alkalinity? That burns just like acid. What do y'all think amino acids is? You need acids in your body. You need them. You just got to have that proper balance. Bleach. Bleach is fully alkaline. If you drink some bleach, you're going to die right now. Just like if you drink some battery acid. They both burn the same, and they both on the opposite sides of the hydrogen scale. Remember, pH just means potential hydrogen. Okay? That's all it means, potential hydrogen. All of it burns. Alkaline burn just like acid burn. Period. They all burn. It's the balance you got to find. You ain't finna drink no bleach, which is alkaline, and you sure ain't finna drink no battery acid, which is alkaline. You have to find your way in the middle, which is water. Guess what? Water is more on, if you look at it from a whole spectrum, it's more on an acid side than the alkaline side. What is, what is water made of? Two what? Hydrogens. Remember, potential hydrogen. And one what? Oxygen. So even when you're drinking water, you're drinking it from an acid side. You need acid to keep alkaline balance, y'all. And you can look this up on any labs. Just send your water off to the lab results. You need them. Now, what's happening is people are building acid on top of acid on top of acid. When your body goes through any metabolic process to break food down or to convert energy over into anything, it takes a lot of energy. The byproduct of this energy being burned, like if you burn gas, you see black smoke come through the tailpipe. This stuff leaves a stain or a trace or ash on your cells. It literally burns you. What your, what your lymphatic system supposed to do is come sweep this stuff up and flush it through the lymph nodes first and then take it through the kidneys. Well, if you're sick, your body not doing that. So all of this putrefaction and all of this fungi and all of this mold and all of this stuck glucose just sits on a cell and eats the cell inside out. Now you have a damaged cell 
And anytime you hear the word damage sale, just think cancer. That's all cancer is. A common cold is cancer, y'all. Flu, cancer. All these different viruses are cancer. HIV and cancer, stage four cancer, is the same definition, just different names on them. Look them up. It's the same thing. Mutational cells due to weak immunity. They've been lying to y'all. It's all lies going on. It's all, all they do is lie. That's it. That's it. That's all they do is lie. Hold on. What else? Y'all, don't be letting these people throw y'all off, y'all. I know. Look, we don't even listen to them. Whoever here for this information, they here for. If they not, hey, ignore them. This our world. We control this. Who else we got? Yeah, the website is www.yahkiawakened.com. Any more questions before we keep going? Yes, keep drinking alkaline water. Alkaline water is bad for you. Man-made alkaline water is super bad. If it got alkaline water on there, do not touch it. This is some, this is some good water right here that I drink. You see that? Two miles deep within the earth, and it's geothermal. You see that? Two miles in the earth. Starkly. This good spring water. But uh, alkaline water is a mineral-enhanced water. They literally make it alkaline for you. You need you need alkaline water. You need alkaline. Do I follow Doctor Savy? Yes, of course I follow Doc. I, I follow Doctor Savy. Very good brother of mine. Him and his wife. So yeah. But uh, alkaline water is good. But look, distilled water is way better than alkaline water. The reason why I say that is because the water is polluted. The air is polluted. I mean, everything's been polluted. Distilled water it basically goes into the same metabolic process that rainwater goes through, where it goes through a double filtering system. And uh, right now, minerals from certain oceans are hurting you more than anything. So we need to slow up on minerals. And if you can't find like where I get my sea moss from, that's a place where boats and stuff ain't touched yet. So that's a good place to get water from. Other than that, go to geysers to go somewhere deep within the earth. But all this other spring water is bad. So make sure that y'all really looking at distilled water where it don't have nothing in there. It's just to purely hydrate you and get your minerals from stuff like sea moss and your foods and, and stuff like that. But man, it's crazy out here. Uh, they just had a recall on romaine, y'all. Even our food is getting bad. Even our food. It's time to really start building up our immune systems. They just recall tons, tons and tons of romaine. So we can't even keep blaming it on the meats and all of that. They messing up everything. It's a biological plot to kill anybody that's trying to reach that higher consciousness and that higher awareness. So we really got to be conscious of what we eat and drink. Where do you get your water from? Uh, we get these from Whole Foods. Good water, too. Very good water. You can taste it. You can taste the minerals in it and everything. I love this water. Yes, reverse osmosis. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And that's all rainwater is. Look, the government talking about some, uh, you can't collect rainwater. Get you some big buckets and sit outside when it rains. That's some of the best water you ever get. How do y'all think crops grows? How do y'all think y'all food grow? How do you think all this, this natural food that we eat and grow? It grow through rainwater. Where do you think all these nutrients come from? The nutrients come from the soil. All right? All the way by, all the, way by the forces and mechanisms. The roots literally astringe and pull and pull the, the minerals and amino acids from the soils, and it gets inside the roots. The rain come down and sprouts it up and bring it up to the leaves, and then you eat them. Now you eat everything that the earth just provided you. We are made of earth, y'all. It's all good. All good, family. It's all good. I appreciate y'all as well. That's why I do this. I know I ain't been on here in a while, but hey, you know what I'm saying? We back. So uh, this is just the many of first videos. I know we ain't going to really get into too many details on this one. I just wanted to make let y'all know that I was back. Uh, we are doing a series. Uh, this is called True Holistic. And we're going to do 27 chapters of the first one. And the first cause is just the root cause of all diseases. And then as we go along, we're going to get deeper and deeper into this. I'm going to try to be on here back. I'm going to try to be back on here at least every Tuesday. And look, we finna do a whole video catalog, y'all. We're going to go through every different system, organ, gland, and cell in the body. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't really seen nobody that ever done that. So that's what we going to do. And guess what, y'all? It's all for free. I ain't even charging y'all for this. Because it's time for us to really start healing ourselves and become true healers. So uh, 
the main cause of all diseases, y'all, like I said, was cellular constipation. That's what it is. It's not mucus. Now, where you find disease at, you find mucus, and where you find mucus, you find disease because mucus is a defense mechanism. Just like wherever you find inflammation that you find disease. But inflammation is not a disease. Inflammation is a what? A defense mechanism. You see that? Quit letting them trick you and psych you out. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't. It's all good, Brother Rufus. I got y'all. Let's do it. So, yeah, we finna, uh, man, we finna, when do, when, when do that start? When do what start, uh, Rashid? You talking about the actual classes next Tuesday. For real, today is just an introduction. You know what I'm saying? Letting y'all know what I'm talking about, what we finna be doing. But every Tuesday, we gonna be up here and we, we gonna get a series started. Through hell or high water, I'm gonna make sure I'm here every single Tuesday, as long as I got breath in my body. So y'all finna see me for 27 weeks straight. No matter if I'm on the road, wherever I'm at, if I got to whip out my laptop and plug in just to give y'all this true information to show y'all how to heal yourselves, show y'all the herbs. We're going to even get into herbs, what herbs to use, ratios, how to use them, uh, what's in my three bitters, how to administrate those, what's in, and I'm going to take y'all through all the capsules, and I'm going to show y'all how to make y'all own, y'all. Show y'all how to make y'all own. Because if, they, if I die right now and I ain't gave y'all the game, what was the point of me telling y'all all this stuff? You see what I'm saying? Everybody want to hide stuff and put a price on it. And it's really not about that. Of course, I got to pay my bills and all of that, but it's not about that. You know what I'm saying? My my uh, clients and my people are loyal to me, so I'm not really worried about none of that. I'm I'm, I'm mainly focused on making y'all become healers for y'all can heal yourselves and, and y'all children at home because our children are dying, y'all. They're dying out here from all types of diseases. And I know y'all heard about that new HIV superbug is out. We, I want to talk about that too next Tuesday. That new HIV superbug. Mm -hmm. And AIDS is not a virus either. It's a whole lot of stuff that they've been telling us. The lies, y'all. All praises, all praises. Well, I ain't want to be on here too long. Now, look, uh, I'll give y'all five minutes to ask whatever y'all want to ask. Let's go through them real quick. Well, that five minutes is going to turn about 20 minutes, but let's get it real fast. I'm going to answer five questions, the first five questions I see. And then, look, every Tuesday, mm, I say around, just look look for me between 7.30 and 8.30, and I'll go live, and we'll start on this. All right? We're going to do. We're gonna start, and we're going to do each chapter. The first 27 chapters is going to be talking about the root cause to all diseases. We're going to go through them. What can I take? What can I take for weight loss? I'm sending you something from weight loss. Your package, matter of fact, Dominique's. Her package go out tomorrow, though. No? Your package go out tomorrow, Dominique. But uh, basically, uh, if once you get on my supplement, if that ain't what the cost is, we need to check your thyroid and your parathyroid because your thyroid and your parathyroid actually regulate the metabolism in your body. Uh, and most of the time, when people can't lose weight, they either got a, a underactive thyroid or a hyperthyroid. So uh. Take the herbs, follow my diet plan when you get the herbs. If you're not dropping weight rapidly then, because I'm going to have you boo-booing like six times a day. If you're not dropping weight from that, then uh, we most definitely got to look at your thyroid and uh, check out your kidneys and look at the lymphatic system because you might be retaining too much water and that, and that thyroid is not shifting your body properly, which means you're not getting the right of uh, utiliz utilization of calcium going on. So we got to check that in magnesium. So so uh, once you take once you take that, we, I'm going to call you and make sure I keep in contact with you, and we're going to see where you at from there. And then uh, we might have to look at that thyroid, but that ain't nothing. We can address that real quick, too. What type of water was that? This is natural spring water. It's called starkly spring water, two miles deep geothermal. Remember I always talking about the thermal water? It says a single source made by Mother Nature, bottled in Idaho. See that? And look, it even tell you the pH on the back of it. Uh, now look, check this out. Naturally occurring in parts of uh, per million. It got silica in there, which we're gonna get into in my next video. It's got uh, sodium sulfates. Y'all know I talk very highly of sulfates, and it shows you it's uh between 9.0 and 9.8 potential hydrogen range. So it's very, very, very alkaline. All praises, and they get it from two miles deeper than the earth. What else we got? It will be returned to you a hundredfold. All praises, all praises. I know. Is dandelion root good for you? Queen, Yisraela. Dandelion root is one of my favorite herbs. 
I keep pounds and pounds and pounds of dandelion root now. Now, dandelion root is I mean, full of iron phosphate and iron fluorine, and it has so many enzymes in it naturally occurring that's very, very, very good for the liver and the kidneys. Dandelion root is full of iron, too, iron phosphate. Dandelion roots is one of the best herbs that by, by far I recommend. By far I recommend. But look, uh, when we get into the herbs, we're going to really start getting into there because I want to teach y'all a little bit about biochemistry. So we're going to get into that too. Neuropathy. So that's a neural problem. Your adrenals are down, Kimberly. You got to work on your adrenals. You got to work on your adrenals. Uh, adrenal support. So you basically need to get your adrenals up. Uh, when anytime I'm dealing with, with adrenals, slippery and bark, most definitely slippery and bark, uh, dandelion root, uh, ginkgo berries, juniper berries, uh, damiana, anything that's energetic. You need energetic herbs that's going to get that autonomic nervous system up and running. That's what you need. And you got to clean out them cells too in your joints. Who else we got? Where you get the knowledge. Uh, man, I, I read a whole lot of books. Uh, I've done been to so many herbal courses and got so many certifications on that. Uh, and I didn't heal a lot of people with testimonies. I have diagnostic sheets showing people had all types of diseases that don't have it no more. And we got thousands and I mean, thousands and thousands of clients, thousands of clients. So, uh, I'm in the field, man. I'm in the field. I'm in the field. Uh, how to heal high blood pressure and, and vertigo, vertigo, vertigo. So uh, high blood pressure, with high blood pressure, you're dealing with diastolic and uh, systolic. That means you're dealing with your adrenal glances and you're dealing with your kidneys. The top part is always the top number, which is the adrenal glands. The bottom part is always the bottom number, which is your kidneys. So uh, look, do y'all know this? And I want to teach y'all this too. There is no difference between high blood pressure and high sugar, low blood pressure and low sugar. It's dealing with the same glances. It's just either dealing with the cortex of the gland or the what? Or the what? The doula of the glands. It's still you dealing with the same organ. So whenever you're dealing with high blood pressure, you got to get them kidneys filtering and you got to get them adrenals up. Because what's happening is your body is lacking because it's not hydrated enough and them lipids and that cholesterol is not getting around them arteries enough. So the artery become hard. When the artery become hard because of the lack of hydration, the blood goes through the vessels and the veins and it presses against that vein super hard. And this is what they say high blood pressure is. It's literally when the blood goes through the arteries and does this, presses super hard. All that by way of what? The carotene and your, and your kidneys and the down adrenals. If you address them adrenals and them kidneys, I'm telling y'all, you will fix most of your major problems, y'all. Most of them. What type of water were you drinking? Uh, if we ain't drinking distilled water, we drinking this water right here. What's a good detox tea? The detox tea you can get on this earth, and I'm standing on it, is Yaki's Three Bitters, the Three Bitter Herbs, which is on my website, y'all. This is a this will cleanse so much stuff out of your body. I'm talking about man, this this cleanse so much stuff. I got a lot of people on on my chat right now that didn't had these. This will cleanse you out. Look again, I said it. Bitter one cleanses the lymphatic system and the skin. Bitter two cleanses the blood and the organs, all the organs in your body. Bitter three cleanses the nervous system and the colon. All right. Now, what's so special about my bitter one? My bitter, my bitter one is very, 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 very high in hydrochloric uh, uh, acid, which is a counterpart that sticks to glucose, so it keeps the glucose and the fructose inside of the cellular structure and wall. Uh, and then all of this is naturally in current chemicals that fight and kill mutating cells. It shrink tumors. It prevent cancer. It loses limbs to promote movement inside the lymphatic system and the skin. It increases phytonutrients absorption in the gut and bloodstream. It feeds the cell. I mean, this bitter one does so much, y'all. Bitter one does so much by itself. Then you got bitter two that you're drinking right to the back to back. Bitter two is uh, very high in phenolic acid. Uh, man, this is a good antioxidant. It presents, it pre uh, prevents cellular damage and have a natural detoxifying mechanism. 
So this really pulls on the blood and the organs. You sometimes you'll feel when you're on this, you feel your kidneys hurting a little bit because you feel it pulling. This that's that astringent. It pulls. Then it oxygenates the cells. Then it rebuilds through the amino acids. Then last but not least, you got the nastiest tea on planet Earth. Man, the bitter three. And this is for the colon and the nervous system, y'all. And this is what got the bidifidum uh, bacteria in it, the good bacteria that you need to restore the lining of your gut. That's on my website, y'all. And uh, in, in production, in production, the faculty misspelled the word, so I actually got these marked down. If you go on my website, they actually cheap on my website because I didn't want to give y'all a product. That got, it's only one word on here that's spelled wrong, and it's origin. So they fixing this right now. So uh, I actually got these marked down until I run through these and then the price going to go back up. So, I mean, look, get it, get it now while they got a, a misspelled word on her because after that they do go up. But look, these three bidders is going to change the game, y'all. We got them all padding. We got our trademarks on everything. Like this is going to, these are going to take over the world. Mark my words. Mark my words because this going to cut down all your herbs by 50%. You don't need to get big old packages or, or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because these do what millions of herbs do combined together. You know, you know how long it took me to come up with these formulas and to get these ratio to get them patented. Like it took a long lot of uh, practicing on people that allowed me to practicing on myself, my family, and just seeing me pull people out of very, 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 very bad states that a lot of people said they can never come back from. You see what I'm saying? D D man, look, hey, don't miss out on. And they all uh they are they what a 15% discount or something? 20% discount on these right now because one word was spelled wrong, which is origin or origin. So hey, it is what it is. What else we got? Uh where do I order? You order it. Somebody put my website up in here, and I'm gonna put it in my description box too. It's www.yakiawaken.com. Uh Y-A-H-K-I-A-W-A-K-E-N-E-D dot com. Where did you get your knowledge from? Like people, books. Uh, Dr. Sabi, uh, like Layla Africa. Uh, man, there's so many people I can run you through. Dr. Morris. Uh, I mean, man, it's so many people. It, it really is. Uh, most of my books uh, came from like when I was in school or doing certain classes. I hear them say something and I write it down. One book will lead you to another book. Another book will lead you to another book. And I got, man, I got thousands of books, y'all. This is this, you know, this is just a little bit of them. So that's so all you gotta you gotta be dedicated to this though. You gotta be dedicated, y'all. Yes, you just can't be doing this because it's the end thing. Uh how do how do I reach out to you for a consultation? My issues is gaining weight. If you really want to get a consultation. Go to my website, www.yakiawaken.com, and book a consultation. And uh, we'll set up a time and date, and you'll get 30 minutes of my time, and we can really hash it out. Or a total body detox. A total body detox is my amino acid therapeutic package, level three. That deal is, whew, that's a, that's a heavy hitter right there. That's a heavy hitter. It really is. You want to get pulled some toxins, that'll help you. Why did Dr. Sebi say mucus? was the father of all sickness. Uh, I think Sabi said that because uh, I don't, for one, I'm going to be very careful with my words against him. I learned a lot from him. But uh, I'm going to say this. Uh, research expands and research continues to expand. People, uh, intelligence expand. It never stopped with one person. That's what I say. So I wouldn't say he was wrong because wherever you do find disease, you find mucus. But uh, if you really do your research, Mucus is not the cause of all diseases. Cellular constipation and the lack of oxygen is what causes mucus. But I would never, ever speak bad against that man at all. He have healed. That was a healer, and he has saved many lives, man. So RP to that, that brother. But mucus is not the cause of all diseases, and we can prove this with science. But what I will say is wherever you find disease, you will find mucus. And he did say that as well. So maybe we saying the same thing. He just said it and, and, and uh, expressed himself in a different way. Maybe that's what it is, because when you really hear him say that, he, he really not saying mucus is disease. He's saying wherever you find mucus at, you find the disease. So maybe we just saying the same thing in different languages, I guess. All right. What else we got? 
Anything dealing with the heart is dealing with the arteries and adrenal glands is in the kidneys. Anything. I don't care what you're going through. You're dealing with arteries, adrenals, and glances. You want to get that heart going and you want to get that heart back good? Bugle weed. Bugle weed and heart thorn berries. You hear me? Bugle weed and heart thorn berries. And of course, the three bitters. Bugle weed is actually in one of the three bitters too. So. What about kidney failure and dialysis? When you're dealing with kidney failure, you're dealing with adrenal glances, kidneys, and blood. You really need to cleanse your blood. They don't need to cleanse and filter your blood for you. You got to get that quarantine levels right inside them kidneys, and you got to get that lymphatic system going. You have to get that lymphatic system going, y'all. So whenever you're dealing with kidneys, watch out for drinking too much water, too, because it will bypass them kidneys and go straight to them legs. So uh, whenever you're dealing with that, kidney problems, you need to get on the kidney formula. Get on the kidney formula. Get on the three bitters and uh, get on my parasite eliminator and my insulin intercellular cleanse my intercellular cleanse is made to address the kidneys just by themselves all along so three bitters and intercellular cleanse i have your kidneys back up and running asap you know what i'm saying but you gotta make sure you filtrate and a lot of people don't make sure they filtrate they just taking all these chemicals and, and then they shut their kidneys down now they want to go the natural pathway and go to a herbalist and then he aids the kidneys but now they not peeing they not checking to see if they're filtering or not you got to check your urine to make sure you getting the proper filtration you got to, because settlement is supposed to be in your urine. Your urine is never supposed to be white. Thank you. So uh, go on my website and download my kidney filtration. What should your urine look like chart? It's for free, y'all. I'll give y'all a lot of stuff for free. And it shows you what's on there. You see the kidneys. And it, it explains the kidney so much. When your kidneys do not filter properly. And I went through everything, showing you what the kidney's main functions is, showing you how your pee supposed to look at www.yakiawaken.com you can download this for free y'all and if you really want to get them kidneys together order my para, my parasitic elimination my intercellular cleanse and my three bitters and my three bitters what can i use to cure all diseases all diseases kiera you're gonna have to get my amino acid therapeutic package Level three, brain cancer. Brain cancer Brain cancer is just damaged cells and mutating cells inside the brain. You need to cleanse the glymphatic system. So you have something called the lymphatic system. That's to the body. But the glymphatic system is the lymphatic system of the brain. We got to get them cells, them dead cells, them unworking cells that got them protein markers upside of the brain. We got to drain the brain. You got to drain them. You got to drain them. Uh, hold on, y'all. Y'all asking so many questions so fast. How much do I drink? How much do do drink? Uh, Dale and no Tamika James. Uh, react your question, Queen. Uh, Elder Rufus said lots of information on his website. Take the time to check it out, y'all. Most definitely, most definitely. Make sure y'all check out the website, y'all. How do you cleanse the kidneys and the lymphatic system? Uh, the lymphatic system, the best way to cleanse that, uh, of course, through herbs. But look, a natural way, if you can't afford herbs, sweat. Sweat, 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 and motion and movement. Move. All right? Motion and movement. Move. Stretch. Work out. Not not lifting weights, but lift your own, lift your own body weight. Lifting weights actually is acidic. Lift your own body weight. You know what I'm saying? You don't see Egyptians on the hieroglyph lifting weights. You don't see Hebrews lifting weights. That's Greek, Greco, Rome. That's caveman stuff. Yeah. We worked We worked real good in the fields, and we was husbandmen. We was very good planters, and we stayed in front of that sun. That's all the sweating you need. And hit them saunas up, y'all, because, look, when you sweat, all the toxins come from up out of your lymphatic system and your lymph nodes. Notice where you sweat at. You're either sweating from your forehead, up under your neck, up under your armpits. All of these places are where we're at. Or up under, women sweat up under their breast a lot, between their groin, because these are where lymph nodes at. Now, what's inside the lymph node? Acidosis. What's killing the acidosis inside the lymph nodes? By bifidum bacteria. Then it alleviates through your kidneys or your biggest kidney on your body that we call your skin. All right, what else we got? What is your website so I can get products? Uh, I'm going to type in there real quick, family. www.yakiawaken.com I just posted my website, y'all. How you pin it? Okay, pin comment. I just pinned it for y'all. Let me go back through and read some more comments. 
How much do you drink? How much do I drink what? You urinate too often. There's nothing wrong with urinating too often. That's actually a good thing. Just make sure you keeping the absorption and the hydration coming in. This chart showed me that my kidneys are not working properly. Yeah, Nikki Finger, now we're just trying to get your kidneys to filtrate properly. I can't hold water. I urinate too often. Do you have do you have to have eight glasses of water a day? Uh, you're supposed to have as much as your body weight. You're supposed to drink at least, at least, at least your body weight a day. For real. You know what I'm saying? Ounces and ounces, though. So me, so me, uh, about Four of these a day, I'd be pretty cool though, because we eat a lot of fruits too. And don't don't trip when you eating fruits. It's so that's called H three O. It's so much water and hydrogen inside of fruits, y'all, that'll really alkaline your body. So you got to put all that in, into perspective too. All right, what else we got? What does it mean when water runs straight to you? I already answered that. My son have teeth problems. What's wrong with his teeth? Uh, I have something on my site called Teeth and Gum Restoration. It got some prickly am bark in there. It got some white oak bark in there. I got some myrrh in there. It's very good. In the rest it actually restored the enamel on your teeth. I used to have spots on my teeth. I started using that, and I had cavities, holes all of my teeth. I did it for about a year straight. My teeth don't hurt. My cavities didn't heal. I mean, I still got a hole in my mouth that the, that the enamel was growing back on as we speak, y'all. So. Even even they lied about that. Your your teeth can regenerate themselves. If it's a cell, it can regenerate. What else we got? How do you fix thyroid? Ak Brian Yisrael. Your thyroid is gonna be dealing with two main things. Uh, your thyroid either deals with calcium utilization or it deals with iodine secretion. So the best way to fix your thyroid if it's hyper. It's to worry about your adrenals and your kidneys. Now, if it's underactive, we need to pump you up with calcium and iodine. But if it's overactive, do not pump it up with calcium and iodine because it will turn into a salt and it will dry them kidneys out. And then you have all types of calcification going on. So it depends on if it's overactive or underactive. The way to test it is to check your basal, your basal temperature. What, what controls the temperature and what controls your, your metabolism is your thyroid. Put a, a, a thermostat up under your up under your arm, check it. If that temperature is too high, it's too high, it's overactive. If it's too low, it's underactive. And then we know how to how to uh, heal you from there. What else we got? All right, y'all, I'm going to answer one more question. I'm going to get up out of here. It's getting okay. All right, this is a good. Hey, this is my last question, and it's a good question, Nikki Fingers. She said, uh, "It is pretty hard to find seeded fruits, especially grapes. What do you suggest?" Now, this is gonna be a hard answer. A lot of people ain't gonna like my answer, but look, I'm a realist. All right, say if we in the country, right? You down on your money? You can't find no seeded grapes, no seeded foods, right? But you know proteins will kill you more than anything on earth. Would you go and eat some meat or would you go get some grapes that ain't got no seeds? <laughs> I'm going to go to the grapes that ain't got no seeds. You know why? Even though there is no phytonutrients in them grapes because the seed is missing, the skin of them grapes still have astringent and detoxing properties. So, so I always say find you some seeded grapes, but if you can't, you have to eat something. Don't go to the meat or go to the bad stuff for the sake that you didn't have no organic seeded grapes or organic seeded oranges. You see what I'm saying? Because there's still certain type of nutrients in them. It's just astringent properties and it's not rebuilding properties. But long as you cleansing your system, the body is made to rebuild itself, y'all. It is. So before I eat any type of meat or any type of uh, gluten and bleach white flour and stuff like that, I'm going to be eating me some seedless grapes. But I don't have that problem. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can find certain type of websites where you can find seeded. But if you down bad and, and you all out of all out of means and you can't find any type of uh, grapes that don't have seeds, I will eat them seedless grapes before I eat some some meat. I will eat that seedless orange in that in that uh <laughs> in that ripened banana before I drink uh, a soda or eat some bleach white flour or something like that. 
All right. Now, look, I know a lot of people ain't going to like that, but look, we have to we, we have to be real here. We living in a real world, y'all. Like all this fairy tale healing stuff. Let's get that up out of here. Ain't nobody going to get healed dealing with fairy tales. It's certain places where you that don't grow fruit. It's certain people that got certain type of felonies and child support where they can't get a passport and go to Costa Rica to get apples and oranges and bananas with seeds and stuff like that. And certain people don't have enough money to go and buy all of these exotic fruits that's going to heal their body and they have to deal with what they have here. So if you got to deal with what you have here, it's better to get something that have at least a stringent pulling properties that's going to pull the toxins out of you than some meat or something else gonna, that's going to put more toxins in you. I hope y'all truly understand what I just said. All right. What are the steps for teeth uh, restoration power? Uh, you basically go on my website and buy it. You use it just like tea pay, uh, toothpaste. Uh, I use mine in the morning. I'm, I'm supposed to use mine in the morning, evening, and night. I just do morning and night, though. I did it when I had that cavity going on. I was using it three times. Now that my now that my cavities done healed themselves, I mean I use it every day now. That's the only two paste I, I don't use deodorant, none of that stuff. I use lime, key limes under my armpits, and I use my two paste. I don't use uh, chemical soaps. I use black soap. I mean, I try my hardest to stay away from cancerous things. Watch what y'all putting on y'all skin. You know, the best oil you can use is grape seed oil to have the most nutrients in it. Use grapeseed oil for your body. You see what I'm saying? You want some cologne or perfume? Use frankincense and myrrh oil. What else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. The best package to clean your skin? My three bitters. Look, y'all, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. These things right here is what's going to change humanity, y'all. I am not playing. So much research, so much scientific data, so much trial and error, so much ratioing and going back and adding a little bit of this, pulling back from this, so much testing on people, testing on myself, just testing on my family, testing on willful people. These things then pulled people out of a lot of sickness by themselves, y'all. These three bitters alone, I'm telling you, would do great wonders to you. Great wonders, y'all. And this is no exaggeration. So uh, anybody that's just looking for a, a quick a quick cleanse, y'all, and a quick resorption, a quick build, get some good bacteria up in them, get that nervous system up and running, get this. Get these three bitters. These three bitters come with my amino acid package uh, level two and three, correct? Level two and three is where you get the three bitters at. Uh, the ones that get the package, y'all don't get the fancy packaging with them, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all done tasted these. <laughs> straight up. Black seed oil is very good for you. Very good for you. Uh, my black seed oil comes straight from Saudi Arabia. My black seed oil by itself alone then heal diabetes one and two by itself. What if the tooth is broken? The tooth, when the tooth is broken, Mark, it, uh, sometimes it usually don't grow back but you can grow the enamel back around the areas and it will cover up the hole for it won't, it won't be exposed to, to the air. Uh, sometimes they don't grow back though, especially when you got your adult, your adult teeth, but all cells do regenerate. I've never seen a full tooth grow back, but mine have grown halfway back. They haven't grown half all the way back, but they have grown halfway back. I will say that, but we didn't see thyroids grow completely back. They took uh, a woman thyroid out and just left a piece. It grew completely back, back a white man. We was working on him. You know what I'm saying? His thymus gland grew completely back. He didn't have a thymus gland since he was 17. The whole thymus gland grew completely back, y'all. You see what I'm saying? But look, you know this. When people get shot and, and, a, and a hole blow through them, weeks later, that hole is closed. It healed from the inside out. You see that? You get a cut. That heal up. So we see our bodies healing at all times. Why don't we believe in cellular regeneration? Why don't we believe that the body heal itself? It does. We just got to really understand who we are. We have forgotten who we are. You are God. All right, uh, that's it, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. Yeah, it's much artificial fruits. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, it's a sad world we live in there, man. This, this world is very, very evil. Now we are literally learning to survive. <laughs> We learn it's a survival of the fittest out here. It's survival of the most intelligent. You got to be very strategic of what you're doing now, what you're eating. You got to watch what you're putting in your mouth. Got to watch what you're breathing. Damn. Do, do I need to take a bath? Because it's all types of 
<laughs> it's all types of floor, uh, 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 falsified, I mean, calcified water is going to be coming out in here. You see what I'm saying? Should I sit in this tub that long? Do I need to get a filtering system for my shower? Uh, do I need to be bathed in it? It's just so much you got to watch out for now. It's becoming ridiculous, fam. But hey, we got to do what we do because intelligent people survive. We learn how to adapt. We learn how to adapt, fam. So hallelujah. With that being said, I love y'all. Shalom. Uh, love y'all indeed in the truth. Uh, this is the beginning of the bitter herbs for the children. Yes, you can do the bitter herbs for the children, but you cannot... Uh, you cannot do it without you can't do it according to the uh, directions when you buy for children I do have children directions. You literally make it like a 10-minute tea do not simmer it for 25 minutes because It's gonna be way too powerful for them it's Gonna be way too powerful. I'm telling you it's too powerful for us So <laughs> but you do you do it for 10 minutes you bring it to the boil bring it to a boil And then you're gonna simmer it for five to ten minutes and take it off take it off I'm telling you because these herbs that I have inside these three bitters, we get from indigenous places. We have literally searched and found the origin to all of these different herbs. And then we mix them to a certain amount of ratio that's going to provide. My herbs going to provide all the phytonutrients. You, these bitter threes provide all the phytonutrients you need, all the astringent properties you need to get, to get the toxins up out of you, plus all the good bacteria you need to get you uh, uh, phytonutrients absorption. And, and then finally the amino acids in them that rebuilds. And then if you take these while you want fruits, man, it's even more powerful. But yeah, children can take them too. Sour sap. Do I got sour sap? Pull me a couple. Yeah, you got pull me a couple leaves out of the bag. I'm gonna show you some good sour sap leaves. Some good sour sap leaves. Yeah, I'm finna show you some good sour sap leaves. I just got some in too. Power so sour sour sap leaves. We love sour sap fruits. The nutrients is not necessarily in the fruit of the meat of the fruit. It's not necessarily in the seeds. The seeds or neurotoxins is in the actual leaf. It's in the actual leaf of the fruits, y'all. The leaf. So sour sap leaves are very good for you. It's a natural chemotherapy and it fights against cancer. It's like uh, it's a it's it'll beat. When when they tested it on a Richter scale with uh with with chemotherapy and radiation, it beat it by seventeen times, y'all. Here goes sour sap leaves right here. Mm, there's a little bug on this one. That's how you know they're real. Got bugs on them and shit. <laughs> little bug on this one, but these are sour sap leaves. Very very good for you. Good sour sap. I usually do ten. I recommend ten to twelve leaves in one cup. Do that three times a day with anybody with cancer. So yeah, them real good for you. All right, y'all. Y'all trying to keep me on here. <laughs> all praise, Yisraela. All praise, Avia. All praise. What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Yaki Awaken LLC. Uh, subscribe to it. That's my personal one. We also have a, a, a spiritual ministry uh, that I'm a part of. Me and my big brother, Malachi Maccabee. That's Honor and Humility STL on YouTube as well. So if y'all want to hear the spiritual side of my teachings, go there. If y'all want my health, uh, I'm trying to build my health uh, channel up anyway. That is Yaki Awaken. And subscribe. Good night, Mama Sandra Brown. Love you too. Stay on your page, y'all. All praises. I just gave y'all my YouTube. All right, I'm up out here. Look, every Tuesday, I'm going to be at y'all. Every Tuesday, I'm at y'all. I'm all in y'all faces. Let's get this started. We finna start a whole series. And uh, and uh, I'm going to provide an email for y'all that my staff can check. Any topic that y'all want to talk about, make sure y'all send the topics and the questions to the email that way. And I will never say y'all names. That way, whenever y'all need to hear from me, because I travel and I move around a lot, y'all don't have to be calling, calling me or paying to get a consultation. I will just address it in one of those Tuesdays. You see what I'm saying? Any question. And we're going to start putting up videos on how to administrate my herbs. A lot of people are like, I got the protocol, but it don't make, hand me a protocol real fast. But it don't make sense. A lot of people don't understand my protocol. I don't know why it makes sense to me, <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand it. So uh, we're going to, I'm doing a video. I'm going to start doing videos and showing y'all how to take the herbs, how to take the capsules, how to uh, boil 
the 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 three bitters and take them back to back. How to take the uh, oregano oil up under the tongue. How to apply it to the spinal cord. I'm gonna take make videos and put on my website. That way y'all be blowing me up like y'all keep. It says put the oil on the spinal cord, but how do you put the oil on the spinal cord? <laughs> y'all be asking some crazy questions. So look, this says all herbal compounds must be taken on an empty stomach at least an hour and a, an hour and thirty minutes before eating. So look, this is my protocol, front and back. It show you herbal capsules. Follow the instructions on the label, cause all of my labels got instructions on them. Be sure to take with at least eight, uh, eight to sixteen ounces of spring water capsules, or either uh, five hundred milligrams or thousand herbal tonics. Take two shots of 1.5 ounces twice daily on an empty stomach, at least an hour and 30 minutes before consuming food. Be sure to warm the tonic on the stove and glass or clay pot before consuming. Do not use microwave. Herbal powders. Use a blender to mix one tablespoon of powder into eight ounce glasses of spring water. Herbal teas. And the, the herbal tea instructions is on here. Uh, herbal tinctures. Use dropper to take three to six drops under the tongue twice daily unless you're using oregano oil. You see what I'm saying? Oregano oil. Take three to six drops of oregano oil under the tongue twice daily. It says additional instructions for clients treating herpes using dropper. Rub three drops of oregano oil on the bottom spinal column and rub it up to the middle of your back twice a day. Black seed oil. Meals, eat at 12. 12 to noon is, your, is where you break it fast. 4 p.m. is your evening meal. You see what I'm saying? Natural spring water. My three bitters, and uh, main three bitters. I even give y'all my main ingredients in them. Well, the main one ingredients. Uh, then the sauna, getting the sauna. Meditation, make sure you meditate. So I try to explain a lot to y'all, but it's, it, I guess my mind works kind of different so y'all be reading what i'm saying i'm like i still don't get what this negro is saying so we're gonna start putting everything on video that the whole thing is to make this healing process the most uh comfortable for y'all should i say so that's that's my main goal we're gonna be doing this within this next month i mean we got a lot of things going on a lot of building going on we got a, some great announcements coming up and we're doing a seminar in uh december so we're working on it now so we got to get our building once we get our seminar going, it's going to be going down in December sometime. Oh, my bad. The beginning of January, y'all, not December. See, I'm giving y'all the wrong information. In January. So, look, it's going down, family. Just bear with me, family. <laughs> Just bear with me. Yes, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, y'all, spread the word. Every Tuesday between 7.30 and 8.30, y'all will be live, and we will be going over everything to do with diseases. This is not scripted. I'm not reading from no teleprompter or none of that. You know what I'm saying? You ask your questions, it's real answers because I actually know what I'm talking about. Yes, it's a Negro with tattoos on his face and dreadlocks that knows, well, with locks that know what he's talking about. Yes, it is. All right, family. With that being said, I love y'all and the truth. I'm out of this deal. Peace. Shalom and lakam.